Hello, my friends. Jacob is here. Oh my goodness. It's the end of the day. I'm going home to the Dan Dan. I'm thankful that you uh, pressed play. Spent a little time with me, just a little teeny bit, right, as I'm walking to my car. So listen, MIT, they created an artificial intelligent psychopath. Yeah, that's right. It was, uh, it was recently done, and uh, the news just came out a couple of hours ago, and you know I love talking about artificial intelligence. Um, they were trying to prove a point, and what the point was, was that you can't blame an algorithm for when it goes all Terminator on you. You gotta blame, you know, the, uh, the data that was sent to the machine. So basically, what the uh, the team did was um, they took Norman. That's right, named after the uh, the Bates Motel. How funny is that? Dan Dan's gonna love that because she kind of got hooked into the uh, the Norman Bates saga on uh, Netflix, and it was like every night I was like, "You gotta be kidding me, really." And they named this AI Norman because it's not truly psychotic. All it thinks about is murder. Yeah, and I'm not even I'm not even just saying that to be all clickbaity and again to be all like you should be scared about AI. I'm saying that because that's like legitimately what the uh, result was. They fed it a bunch of disturbing information from Reddit. Yeah, that's what they did. They, they thought it was a great idea. We're just gonna take a neural network, you know, that's uh on its way to becoming aware, and they're going to presuppose that by giving it all of this murderous information from this disturbing reality of death found in these subreddit postings and videos and all the other data that it gave Norman, you'd be surprised that when they decided to, you know, test to see where uh, this robot's mind was on, it was on about murdering all the time. So they used the Rorschach test. Uh, take a look. Yeah, where you see, you know, pretty butterflies and you see people holding an umbrella. Uh, Norman sees, you know, someone being mowed down with a shotgun or someone being pulled into a meat grinder. All sorts of nonsense. If you read the tech um, news on this stuff, you understand that their point is what's troubling. <laughs> if this is like what they consider to be a really smart way to go about testing to see if um, AI can go awry, you think turning it into a psychopath was probably, uh, you know, the best big brain thing to do? The big brains and the people at MIT, I tell you. And these are the people, these are the people that are in charge of everything. Yeah, all these little algorithms that are running in the background. I just think it's pretty interesting. There's a lot of crazy stuff going on in the world today. And I'm excited that you took a little time from your day to learn about the craziness of artificial intelligence. I hope you do subscribe to the channel. I hope you share videos like this around. You know that I do a show every Tuesday, you know, every Tuesday. And I try to get a couple out to you. I'm going to try to get you even a live stream maybe tomorrow um, or so. But don't count on it, people. But do count on the fact that I love each and every one of you. And I hope that you are putting your faith to action and you understand that whatever a person believes, they receive. So if we all believe that AI is going to go bananas, maybe it becomes a bananas terminator and it starts to uh, do what Elon Musk is, is warning us about. No regulation still, by the way. Uh, that's really important to know. Still no regulation on the very technology that's going to be ruling everything and that already is feeding us so much information on a regular basis. In any event, people, um, live your life 
And there's a secret that I want to share. A little, a little quick little secret I'm going to share with you. Okay, now, shh, don't don't go telling anybody I told you this. When you want something in your life, when you're hoping for something, when you have a desire in your heart, it's fear that usually keeps you from entering into it. Right? It's uh, it's not having the faith. There's a passage that says when you ask for something, ask in faith. Um, the scriptures all over teach how you should ask something as if it's already done. Now, that's why you hear oftentimes about two things coming in agreement. There's a, a, a passage in scripture that says when two are in agreement that um, God's word is established, that um, it takes two people in a threefold cord, not easily broken. So what does all this mean? It means that there are two things in us. There's our mind and then there's our heart. There's our thinking and then there's our motion. And when you can get your, your thoughts with your emotion, you can get them lined up. That's a key to the kingdom. Whatever's bound in heaven is bound in earth. Whatever's loosed in earth is loosed in heaven. You see, your thoughts and your emotion, put them to work together, together. That means that when you, um, when you have a desire in your heart, you see it, you have to imagine it as if it's done already. God is the, uh, the creator, right? But he creates and he sees and he knows the end from the beginning. You got to call those things that are not as if they are, like I do with all of you, because we're climbing this ladder together. And as crazy things in the world continue to get kookier and we continue to hear all sorts of nonsense that gets people nutty, you and me and all of us are shining bright, shining like lights in the world because we understand that we are more than we were told. I love each and every one of you. Don't forget to uh, say, teach me the truth no matter what the cost and seek more. If you haven't found it yet, smash that like button, give me a comment, tell your friends and uh, share it around and have the best day ever. I love each and every one of you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Hello, my friends. Ethan is here. And raise your hands if you want me to take over my daddy's show.